Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we got Hilda back, even though we didn't even know she was there. We just happened to run into her. Apparently she got kidnapped by Kuja. I guess when he stole the airship, she must have just been on it. I think she was the one who stole it from Sid. I mean, I guess you can say she stole it. I mean, it's got her name on it, so I wouldn't... Maybe she just took it. I wouldn't really call it stealing. But anyway, she must have been on it when Kuja... He stole it and kidnapped her in the process. And, of course, wouldn't you know it, told her his evil plan. So that's where we're going to now, to, to see what uh, to see what, he's, uh, what Kuja said to her. Now, if you guys are enjoying this series, I would appreciate your support. So hit that subscribe button and uh, watch these episodes live on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you. I think the bottom is the conference room. Oh, there's Quinna. Looks like we're all here. Who's that guy? It's Regent Sid. What? Still hasn't gotten any manners, Rip. Mm -hmm. Still haven't learned your manners. You can stop the frog talk now. Silence, Ribbit. Oh well. Ugh. I mean, he wasn't even a frog for that long. You'd think you'd be doing guac more often. Ugh, I didn't, I didn't gather you, you all here to talk about that. I called for this meeting, called for this meeting to tell you about what I learned while in Kucha's captivity. You may provide a hint about where you may be. Listen carefully. I don't see the princess. All right, we are missing. I said everyone's here. Forgot about her. I shall look for her. I will begin constructing Hildegard III. The blue Narcissus will be used for its construction. Now Hilda will tell you the rest. Hilda? So what did Kuja discuss with you? Or Sid going? Some parts of the story may be hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kucha plans to use this world as a means of acquiring a great, an even greater power. Greater power? What could he do with it? What would he do with it? I don't know. He indicated that he wasn't of this world. What? We call our world Gaia. But he called his birthplace Terra. Terra, huh? Just like the world we saw in that dungeon. ATE team. How are the repairs coming? They're going really slow. We can't rush them, or everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. She's not here either, huh? Where could she be? Yo. No, oh, it's only you. Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Hey, watch your mouth. We we're just discussing ways to restore this district. Yeah. Old timer, you got us all wrong. Yeah. I mean, technically, we kidnapped uh, Princess Garnet on Sid's behalf, so if you're gonna blame anyone, blame Sid. We're just trying to rebuild their home. That's all. What are you doing here? From the looks on your face, it seems like you got problems. What's troubling you? Maybe we can help. Ugh. Can I really trust you? Yeah. Well, that was quick. The princess is missing. She is not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her. This is like her backyard. 
All right, you heard me. Get moving. You have my gratitude. Hey, no problem. This terra seems to be connected with a place called the Shimmering Island. Hey, weren't we just there? Or close to it? I do remember the priest talking about it. I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find him if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't get directly to Terra from the Shimmering Island. Of course you can't. Everyone would have discovered this other world by now if it was that easy. So what do we do? I'll tell you. The gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed. But Kucha said there is a place where the seal can be broken. Where is that? He said it's an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten Continent. An explorer left a record of his trip to this particular castle on the Forgotten Continent. If I remember correctly, he wrote the he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Other than that, very little is known about the Forgotten Continent. Well, since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ipsum Castle. Ipsum's Castle, huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. Recovery. Nope. Oh, progress on the ship. How's the ship coming along? Regent, you're a human again. Yes, now we can concentrate on building the ship. Judging by our experience with Hilda 2, we are almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yes, I'm thinking about using parts of the blue Narcissus for the body. How come? I realized that the blue Narcissus was a well built ship when I wrote, it, wrote in it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a completed blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you and it will be completed in no time. Let's get ready. Roger. That's all I heard. You may find a clue if you go to Ipsum Castle. You ask Kuja about all of this. These are all these are all things he discussed voluntarily. He became very impassioned as he spoke, and he volunteered information without even me my asking. He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. He's right. His power is great and we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuja. He toyed with my friends' lives. Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess we'll have to wait until Sid finishes building Hildegard 3. Sidane, I bring troubling news. What? What now? I cannot find the princess. I looked all over Lemblum. The members of Tantalus aided, in, aided me in my search, but... She's not in Lemblum? Then there's only one place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Limblum. I'll be right back. Where? Alexandria? Ah, where are you guys going? We're gonna look for Dagger. Is there anyone else we need to look for? No, but we looked over there already. Go someplace we haven't already looked. Senna is so demanding. True, true. Hey, Ruby. Link, Marcus. How y'all doing? We're doing alright. How's show business, Ruby? 
Well, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great. Our hideout in Limplum got completely destroyed. It's gonna take a miracle to fix the place. Bro, we better... Oh, sorry. We came to Alexandria for a reason. Have you seen Dagger? Dagger? Nah, I haven't seen her. What about her? You fixing to kidnap her again? No, we're just looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus. I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout. Thanks, Ruby. I wonder if Stain is here. With these good old boys. This is strange. I was sure she'd be back in Alexandria. Where else can I look? Hey, Zidane. I've been looking for you. Boss, have you found Dagger? Nah, can't find her anywhere. I didn't find Dagger, but... I think I saw that check. That check? Of Beatrix? Yeah, you know that check. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check again. Hey, wait. Who is she? What are you talking about? It's gotta be Beatrix, right? Who else could it be? Where are you going, boss? Is she here? She was standing over there just a second ago. Over there. Oh, sure is. Beatrix. Is that who I think it is? Hey. Well, he got there pretty quick. I don't know how he missed her. <laughs> ah, over there. Oh, this is silly. Where did she go? Still alive, eh? You are Baku. Yep. I'm the man who abducted your princess. Let us forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart, unlike that knucklehead Steiner. No wonder the women are running the show here. Gahaha. <laughs> Boss, you must have seen Beatrix. Hey. This episode's gonna be a cutscene episode, it looks like. As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Steiner and I did our best to protect Alexandria. But our efforts were in vain. Steiner was worried about you. Why haven't you contacted him? Dagger's still in shock. She's been mute ever since the attack. She is? Then it is better for her not to return to this city for a while. It won't do her any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, here's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She is back in Alexandria. But she's nowhere to be found. Have you looked in the resting place? The resting place? Yes, if she's back in Alexandria, I'm certain that she will be there. There are a couple favors I'd like to ask you. If you see Princess Garnet, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure, what else? I'd like you to give her something. Garnet. Maybe it'll help the princess get through this time of uncertainty. Another summon. Nice. Oh, her mother's grave. Oh, there she is. I've been looking for you, Dagger. Sit in. You can talk again? I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become a queen and bring back peace to Alexandria. That's why I came here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive, 
My primary concern was how to talk and look like a princess. Those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and I was about to become a queen. I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think the people will accept me as their queen the way I am now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give you this. She misses and it just shatters. Is this incarnate? That's right. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. The gem used to be just so, just another ordinary stone. That's the stone made a wish. I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person, in keeping with its wish, wish. And now it's shining in your hand, dagger. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too, someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There's no rush. The important thing is to have the desire. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is that you honestly want to stay with us. Zidane? Can I borrow that knife again? Which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. I'm borrowing this. Zidane, remember the way I was for me. She gonna cut her hair? Nope. Classic scene. It never works out in real life. When you cut your hair like that, you don't look as good as this. You always look awkward. And your hair is uneven. That's better for fighting. Just like go on, said to Videl. This ship is faster. Cool, nice and fancy too. What, what? What happened? What happened to your hair, Princess? What have you done? I know, Zidane broke your heart, didn't he? How dare he? Is that true? Well, hold on, don't jump to conclusions. Zidane's right, Aiko. Dagger, you can talk again? Yes, I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair, it was so beautiful. Short hair doesn't suit me. Oh no, you look great. Thanks, Aiko. It's still too early to celebrate. Aaron, you know our destination? Yes, Epson Castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right, we'll go there to find out how to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah, and hopefully we'll learn about what Kujo wants to achieve. The location of Ibsen Castle has been marked on the map. Based on Lady Hilda's information, please check by pressing Select after we depart. You can also press B on the bright spots on the map, and the ship will take you to those locations automatically. You can check how to maneuver the ship automatically by pressing Y, while the large map is open. Excuse me? 
please let us know if you'd like to switch out your party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during my journey. Unnamed crew member. You don't have to be so formal. Let's just relax and enjoy our flight. Alright, so who's going to be in my party? Let's put Steiner. I mean, is there really any point in leveling up Vivi and Amaranth? I think we can choose who we want for the final boss. So I think the final boss is probably going to be Zidane, Steiner, Dagger, and Ico. If we need, I don't know if we, maybe we don't need that much heals. If we don't need that much heals, then we'll switch one of them out for Freya. I don't know who. Who to pick? Ico. I oh, let's pick Dagger. We haven't seen her <clears throat> in a while. Hopefully she can uh, achievement take to the skies. Alright, so we got this place, Q's Marsh, over, and we'll just let it, we'll just let it go. Oh, we actually get to see it. It's not just like a fast travel. Oh, that's cool. It is, it is a pretty slow ship though, so it's not like it's any faster. We should take some time to do a little bit of exploring. Usually I would I would say yes, but the ship is so slow. And every and everything in the world is covered in fog. It's kind of a pain. I hope I can land here. Sure can. Alright, and let, let's just save it before we go in. And uh, while this might be a little early, I think this is a good time to end this episode so we can start fresh in this dungeon. Yeah, it's, it's about eight minutes too short, but it's better than starting another dungeon and then cutting it off that quick. So, if you're curious about Ipsum Castle, uh, check that out in the next episode. Thanks for, you know, Anne, thanks for watching and have a good day.